Hey, Tim. Hi, everyone. Hi, Everybody, thanks for waiting. Of course. It's the key of a hot sauce on our license. All right, sir. You good? Yep. I think we're ready when you are. Okay. Uh, Omaha Fire Crews were called today to 120 Hickory Street um, at 1.11 p.m. for a call of a confined space rescue. <clears throat> Upon arrival, the fire crews had uh, light smoke showing from a uh, tank rail car. Uh, upon interviewing uh, people on scene, they said that they had heard an explosion uh, from the rail car and one person was uh, lying on the ground uh, when crews arrived. <clears throat> Excuse me. What had happened was there was uh, two individuals inside the tank car performing a cleaning operation of the tank car. Uh, they were on their way out. The one person was on top of the rail car when an explosion occurred, blew that person off the rail car onto the ground. It also uh, blew the ladder that they had used to access the inside of the car out of the car, and so there was still one person left inside the tank. Uh, crews immediately began CPR uh, on the on the victim that was uh, located outside. Uh, he was transported uh, code 99 to Creighton, and we have learned that he has since passed. Um, names will be withheld pending the or, excuse me pending the uh, notification of the next of kin. Uh, right now, we still have the second victim inside the tank car. Um, our initial readings of the hazardous materials inside the car precluded us from going in at this time, so we are waiting for uh, the flammable limits to, uh, to go down so that we may go in and, and extricate the second victim. Uh, the status uh, right now is unknown of that second victim. However, we believe that this may be a recovery effort. Um, they, again, they were performing cleaning operations uh, inside the tank when uh, uh, when passers-by and, and people on scene heard an explosion. Since it's too hazardous for you guys to go in, do you think that the conditions are too much for the person inside? Uh, all indications would lead to that, but we just can't confirm it until we actually extricate the victim and, and perform an assessment. Okay. That's what we're looking for right now. There's uh, On scene right now we have uh, uh, Omaha Fire Investigators as, as standard protocol. We also have uh, OPD homicide investigators. Uh, we also have members from the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad uh, who owns the, uh, the, traffic, the, the train lines. Uh, and then we also have members from OSHA on scene. Um, and what they're trying to do right now is identify what chemicals were probably inside that, uh, uh, that tank and, and what the explosive limits are so that we can actually ventilate, reduce those limits so that we can enter ourselves. Um, right now, it's it's we always err on the side of caution so that we're making sure that uh, right now we're in the process of taking a second set of readings. Um, we're hoping that those have gone down because enough time has elapsed. Uh, and then and basically it's a, it's a game where you have to just kind of wait, uh, do the ventilation, do your due diligence, and then let the uh, let the readings come down before we enter. And they, they work for the railroad? Uh, they, uh, they, no, they work for a cleaning company that was hired to clean the cars, correct. Um, that's what we're working on, and that's what we'll release later once the investigators do their uh, uh, do their investigation and determine what possibly could have caused the explosion. Um, any information related to the the cause of death and the victims' names will will come from OPD at a later time. That's that's our standard procedure. So right now we're working on a getting the victim uh, out of the tank car and doing so safely for all involved, and then uh, identifying what the uh, what the chemicals and explosion could have caused. Do you know the name of the company that they work for, the cleaning company workers? Um, I don't at this time. Um, there's a, uh, there's a, uh, there was a representative on, on site. I just didn't, uh, I didn't have a chance to uh, interview that person. And do we know if the deceased victim is a male or a um, Both individuals who are working in the tank car were both male. Do you have any idea if he had an STD? No. Or if there, uh, I would imagine, Omaha resident in another suburb, you know, where We have no knowledge of that right now. Um, As standard procedure, um, we first, uh, once we went on scene and we decided that it was a, a hazardous material, um, our standard operating procedure uh, cautioned us to be a thousand feet away, so that's why you see a lot of the, the, uh, the rigs behind us. Um, the actual event is taking uh, place about a thousand feet to the north from our staging location.
what kind of precautionary matters are you forced to take when you're working these kind of scenes? Hazmat suits, or, or what do you guys do to ensure your own safety? Once, once we can identify what the uh, what the chemical is, our special operations team and unit, um, they will basically don um, a smaller version of an SCBA, which is a self-contained breathing apparatus, which will allow them to enter a confined space. If it's a situation where the hazardous materials uh, call for a, a self-encapsulated suit, then we would, uh, we would don those as well. Right now, that's not the case. And that's why we've also asked the experts from the railroad and for OSHA to help uh, identify uh, what those chemicals can be. So we do have the necessary training and the necessary equipment to enter those, those type of uh, uh, structures, and that's what we're, uh, we're attempting to do. So we just have to wait until the limits uh, have exceeded, or excuse me, have reduced to allow us to enter. How many guys do you have out here working then? How many crews, how many engines? We had uh, approximately 30 OFD personnel were on scene that responded. I don't have that as a preliminary indication. That's what we're trying to do once we get inside. We'll be able to ascertain all that information. No communication has been made with this person who's been yelling or... Uh, we just obtained a visual when we first arrived on scene. And I think we'll, we'll try to, uh, we're going to still be here a while. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you an update as much as I can. And then uh, just look for a media release later this evening. Again, uh, uh, any names or anything of that nature identifying, we're waiting to uh, notify the next of kin, and, and that will come from uh, from PD as soon as we can. So thanks for being here, everyone. Thank you very much. Thanks. I appreciate it. You bet. Take care.